In the book of Jeremiah, we learn what we already know about ourselves. It states clearly, the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. It goes on to tell us of a righteous God who searches us and knows the details of all our failings. I, the Lord, search the heart. I test the mind, even to give every man according to his ways, according to the fruit of his doing. It causes us to think about the severity of our sin and what a God who hates sin must feel about it. Yet, without God, everything is futile and our guilt is overwhelming. I feel my guilt and must carry the weight of all my sin. It is in no way true that I can be at peace with a righteous God. My sins are by far too great for God's love. It is beyond plausibility to believe that God would accept me because I am a sinner. How can it be? God could not listen to my call. How blatantly wrong it was to think that God can genuinely love sinful me. All I can do is openly and readily admit I am without hope. I cannot believe I can be forgiven. But consider this. The God who hates our sin still loves us even though we are sinners. And loved us to the extent that he sent his own son into the world. The Bible puts it like this. While we were still sinners, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. That's amazing. God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to take our place. To die for us and suffer the punishment that we deserve. When we believe in him and turn from our sin, trusting in what Jesus has done on a cross at Calvary, it causes us to read this same poem, but in reverse. I can be forgiven. I cannot believe that I am without hope. All I can do is openly and readily admit that God can genuinely love sinful me. How blatantly wrong it was to think God could not listen to my call. How can it be that God would accept me because I am a sinner? It is beyond plausibility to believe my sins are by far too great for God's love. I can be at peace with a righteous God. It is in no way true that I feel my guilt and must carry the weight of all my sin. It is amazing to think that God could love us and we can know forgiveness. Someone was once contemplating the difference that was made to them because they trusted in Jesus Christ as Saviour. And they exclaimed, The Son of God loved me and gave himself for me. He loved you too and gave himself for you. Will you take him as your Saviour and know God's forgiveness and peace? Peace.